Hey everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. It's time for another chatty get ready with me. If you're new here, what I do is I just put on my makeup and tell you what's going on in my life. I might explain the makeup, I might not. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, sorry for the noise. I have my ceiling fan on and it makes a noise. And I've mentioned it to Brian and he says, well, it doesn't bother me. Well, it bothers me. So I got to figure out, here, listen. I can't stand that. I can't stand that little noise. It, it just gets on my nerves. But it's 85 degrees here today. I am filming a little later in the day than I normally do. Uh, had a late start. I took a shower, washed my hair, blow dried my hair, which I rarely ever do. And I'm testing out new curlers that were sent to me from Buzz Agent. And I don't like them. I'm going to have to leave a bad review. Um, yeah, they, they, they have a small, medium, and a large size roller. But the large roller in my set of rollers, which I, I forgot the brand, Baby something. You'll know what I'm talking about. You're, you're probably saying it right now. M m this large would be the medium size in my set of hot rollers that I've got that I love. Um, but uh, one, the rollers get really hot. Two, these the gimmick was their clips heat. They're, you heat the clips as well. Uh, the clips are plastic and tiny. So when I put their, their largest in this clip, it won't hold it. So I've got the clips from my rollers. And then I do have, and their largest rollers are just right here. I mean, I just have a, a handful. And then the medium ones are back here, and I do have their clip in it. And then the smaller ones I had to put in the bag. Uh, the clips don't really heat up. That's a gimmick. They don't, they don't heat up. The rollers were, were so hot I could barely touch them, and the clips were not even barely warm. And it, the clips won't hold your hair. So, it's Con Air. Sorry, guys. What's the name of this? I threw it on the floor. Infinity Pro. See, your clips heat up here and your curlers in there. Yeah. 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 Mm -mm. I don't, sorry, I don't recommend them. I don't recommend them. But anyway, I've got to do a review on them. I do like Buzz Agent. They've been kind to me over the years. I've gotten some really wonderful things to test out in the past. And this is the first time I've received something that I don't like. So anyway, that's my little rant about that. Today's water is something new I found at Kroger. Bonsai. Bonsai. Perfectly sweet, sparkling water beverage. I've got cherry peach, and they also had a blackberry lime, which I wish I had went ahead and purchased too. It says it's made with real cherry juice. This has 10 calories in it. It's not calorie free, but it's 10 calories. It is delicious. So, let's get started. I've already done my skincare and put my primer on. I'll have to work around these curlers. So, yeah. Uh, yesterday, I'm filming on Monday, so it's Easter Monday. So, yesterday was Easter. So, I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. We did. It was really nice. It was just, of course, the three of us. Let me find a brush. Do I need to wash brushes? That's on my list. But, um... Yeah, it was just the three of us, and we, um, I cooked a small ham, enough that we have enough for leftovers for tonight. So I made ham and homemade mac and cheese, which I only make on holidays, <laughs> because it's so rich. It's got butter and cream and several kinds of cheese in it. I mean, it's, it's cheesy. Uh, but I had that, green beans, uh, I had, um. King's Hawaiian Rolls. Those are my favorite. Uh, what else did I make? A deviled eggs and mashed potatoes with gravy. So that was lunch yesterday, dinner yesterday, and leftover tonight, including Saturday night, Brian on his Blackstone, 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 on his Blackstone, he cooked um, shrimp with uh, Italian sausage, not Italian sausage polar sausage and broccoli 
and we had rice with it and he used teriyaki sauce. It was really good. So we still have that left over. So that's tonight's dinner. <laughs> Leftovers. We got to get the food eaten up. So yeah. But we, we had a good Easter. I bought no Easter candy. Can you believe that? And I was regretting it yesterday thinking I wish I had some Easter candy. I think yesterday was the first Easter in my entire life that I never had any Easter candy. I really think so. But I don't need it. I do wish I'd had some yesterday afternoon. Wouldn't have mind a piece of chocolate, but that's okay. We purch we purchased, I purchased at the store just uh, a slice of cake for each one of us from the uh, bakery section at the grocery store. I got me a slice of coconut cake because my family won't eat coconut cake. And if I want something like coconut cake or banana pudding or something, I'll have to buy individual servings. So, so I, I got me coconut cake. Uh, Nathan likes red velvet, but Brian doesn't like red velvet. Oh, it's, so, it's so hard. So. so I got Nathan a slice of red velvet cake, and then Brian got chocolate cake. And that was our dessert. We only had one slice each. So that way, we didn't have a lot of sweets around, but we did have a treat. And I, in my ham, had co uh, pineapple. So I, of course, I had pineapple left over. So I put some pineapple on my cake and made it a pina colada cake. It's really good. <laughs> it was really good. So that was yesterday. I decorated. I, I didn't decorate my house for Easter. And it wasn't until I was getting the table ready for lunch that I set out some decoration. And that was fine. Pat my little bunnies and I went out in the yard and picked azaleas. My goodness, my azaleas are just going crazy. Um, I love azaleas. Absolutely love azaleas. And I was so happy to see that I have a yard full here. Um, I had, I bet, I was trying to count when I was out trying to pick azaleas to make a, a bouquet. I stopped counting at 20 azalea bushes. I have all sizes though. I have uh, two or three azalea bushes that are huge. And then what I call medium size, that's where ma majority of mine are, medium size. And then there's some little ones that I guess Skip, who used to own this house, planted uh, before he died. Um, they're mainly on the side. of My side yard has got um, it looks like Skip had started planting azaleas on the side. And then my front yard has mainly pink and white azaleas. My pink are in full bloom and the white are starting to really bloom now. In the backyard I have red and salmon color. And those are the larger azaleas. So yeah, I'm very pleased with all my azalea bushes. I don't plan to buy any azaleas. I did buy that Camilla camellia and I still haven't planted it. It's got to get planted this week. My hair getting in the way here. So yard work's on our agenda this week. It's going to be in the 80, mid to upper 80s all week. That's red from curlers. Dealing with curlers. <sighs> yeah. There we go. Now. Uh, anything else going on? Brian did not get a day off for Easter. Um, they did not close Friday or today, Easter Monday. And I found that kind of odd. He's always had a day off for Easter. But I noticed the post office was open Friday and open Saturday and again today. So even the post office is not closed for Easter. So, I don't know. Is that a new trend? Do you know? I know, like, you know, retail. Well, some retail closes on Easter. Easter day, you know. But, I mean, the facility where my husband works, I think I told you, they make medical equipment. Mainly, you know, when you go to the doctor in the, the bed you're on. My husband's company makes those stretchers hospital 
uh, beds, um, uh, the uh, surgery tables, and embalming tables. Uh, they make those kinds of things. And his company is really small. I bet you there's probably about 25 employees, and that's it. When I say some, it's it's a small business. And um, where Brian worked before at Continental, just the facility he was in was close to 2,000 employees. And it's a global company from Germany. So there's a lot. In fact, there's a Continental down in Sumter, which he did apply for, which they did offer him a job and he turned it down because of this one he's got now. So, anyway, there we go. Let's see, am I missing steps because I'm not really thinking. I seem to be moving quite quickly. I think I get everything. Today I want to use my Italian Spritz palette. I do really like this palette. I picked this up last year. Yep, still smells. I miss the days though, and I know why they're not, but I miss the days when you open a, a Too Faced palette and that smell just hits you like the the chocolate bar palettes, you know. This one is not as strong and I know a lot of people don't like the scent. They should sell them, you know, unscented or scented and then you get to pick. You should do that, Too Faced, you should do that. And I would pick the scented one, extra scent every time. Oh. Um. Yeah, I can smell it putting it on. It smells good. I guess I have my my being able to smell is back. Um, last week I told you Brian, I thought he had allergies. No, he brought home a cold because Nathan and I both got it. And we, we were miserable for a couple days with it. Um, nothing like COVID, of course. But just enough to be irritating. So we did. We got the cold. He brought home a cold. I told him not to do that again. You know, in the whole time we had COVID, he never caught it. He was, he felt bad a couple days, but we figured out that was from lack of sleep and trying to sleep on the sofa and trying to wait on us sick people. I don't think it was ever a cold. He just felt bad. Let's see, what? Maybe I can kind of try to match my... Uh, shirt. I used uh, Gelato. I broke nails on these fingers. I need to cut my nails back. I don't want to. I love having these long nails that I never had before. I'm going to spaghetti about it. That middle one there. I'm going to put that in my transition. Nathan has a movie tonight over in Columbia. I think I just might go with Brian. It's going to be late. His movie's at 7. Poor Brian. Brian's usually in bed before 9. Jeez. The kid. But we told him next weekend, no movies. And we are not going to Columbia to even grocery shop. We'll have to get what we're going to get at the food line. Because... I'm going to stay in town. I know Brian hates driving back and forth to Columbia all the time. That's where everything is. It's in Columbia. Alright. Now, what do I want to do? I'm going to go with... I'm going to go in with Mama Mia. With a crease brush. I'm going to put it in my crease a little bit and then on my outer V. Start with the outer V. Just the little corner here. Um, just give it a little dip right there. And then just to darken the crease. I have started watching a show on Apple TV called Palm Royale. I highly recommend it. If you like, um, it's it's like um, 60s Palm Beach. It, and it's it's really good. I'm enjoying it. I love seeing the fashions and the. It's good. 
It's got a Kristen wig. It's funny. It's funny, but it is really good. I am enjoying that. It's got, um, oh, Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett is in it. Ricky Martin is in it. So, yeah, it's really good. I can't remember the actor's name. He played the, in um, Sweet Home Alabama with Reese Witherspoon. Played the husband she was trying to divorce. That guy. I can't remember his name. He's in it. As you can tell, I like Sweet Home Alabama. I like Reese Witherspoon. So, yeah. I've been watching that. Uh, and then all the other shows I talked about last time. And thank you all for... I got some uh, recommendations from you guys. And then I found I hardly watched any TV <laughs> this past week. I was doing other things. So I didn't get that much TV in. I want to start getting a little sun uh, in my backyard. I might go out later this, evening, this afternoon. Just set out a little bit. Get a little sun on my legs. I feel better when I have a little bit of color. I don't necessarily want to tan outside because that's bad for you. But I do want to get in that sun a little bit. I'm craving a little sunshine. So, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. That is pretty. Now, I'm going to go into When in Rome, that pinky shade. I'm going to take that same brush. I just cleaned it out in my color switch. I'm going to put it on my inner corner there. On both sides. The Carolina Cup was Saturday. Friday and Saturday. They had big tailgate going on over there. and We got this year 40,000 people came. The most we've ever had is 80,000, and I wasn't here for that. But we had 40,000 this year. I, I did not go, but my, bro, my husband's boss did go from Columbia. He came over. So he was there. So I'm going to darken my outer V a little bit more. And I think I'm going to get my little detail brush and go underneath with that dark plum color. Mamma Mia. I'll take that underneath. So yeah, the Carolina Cup was a success. And you know what? Last year we stayed home to stay away from the crowds. This year we were all out and about and you know what? We didn't have any traffic anywhere. Now we didn't go over to where the the um, track was. We stayed away from that area and uh, where the Walmart and Hobby Lobby and all that. We stayed away from that area. We went into Columbia, but we went straight through town and got on Interstate 20. So, but yeah, I, we didn't, I didn't see the crowds. Uh, mm -mm. I guess I'm gonna go with this, this one right here with my finger. It's called Spritz and Glitz. I like that name. We'll put it in the middle. Little spritz and glitz in the middle. Yeah. There we go. Very pretty. I do like that. I like that. Do I want to do anything else? You know, I think I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. I'm just going to put some mascara on. So we'll just chat and I'll put that on. This is an easy look. I don't know if I go over to Columbia this evening. What do, I don't know if there's anything I want to do. Go to Joann's and look at yarn. I don't know. Not necessarily. Maybe I'll just stay home. I hate the thoughts of Brian running around trying to find something to do in Columbia for a couple hours so his kid can watch. I don't know what he's watching tonight. It's only playing tonight. I don't know. We went Saturday all the way 
to Irmo, which is on the west side of Columbia. So we went all the way through town to get to the other side of Columbia for him to see a movie that was only playing at the Regal Cinema over there. But uh, it sounded like it's a pretty cool movie. It was, I can't remember the name of it. It's a horror movie, but it's about a talk show, a nighttime talk show uh, who has a woman on who claims she, she brings a young girl with her and she claims she can talk to the devil through the young girl and the devil comes. It, it sounds, sounds cool. I, I'm not going to watch it. It sounds cool. Nathan enjoyed it a lot. He said it was a really good movie. So there you go. And it was only playing on the other side of Columbia. So, at least the one he wants to see tonight is our normal theater. But Brian told him if he goes to a movie this coming weekend, it's going to have to be the little theater down on Main Street. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if he wants to go down there. We have a little two two screen theater. Mom and Pop owned two screen theater in town. You know, I didn't pull out anything for blush. I've been using the same thing. Let me get in my little container here and pull out a different blush. Move it out. You know, I think I'll go over here. Why am I getting so dark? I don't know why it's getting dark. L I'm going to pull out a, I never do pull these out. Cheek Parade. Benefit. I need to be using these. I'm going to go with, um, today I'm actually going to go with Rockateur. This one right here. Let me get a new brush. This is from Melt. Melt Cosmetics brush. We'll get Rockateur. Get that on my cheeks. Get a little across the top of my nose. There we go. And I'm grabbing my, my little ColourPop Super Shock to do the highlight up here. And I'm just going to keep that and just do the end of my nose here a little bit. Tops of my cheeks just a little bit. As well. This is one of my favorite colors in the summer. This is a butterfly beach. It is if I don't have any color, it doesn't, it's a little dark for me. Lips. What have I got? I've got all kinds of lips in front of me. Let's pull out something I haven't used in a while. This is a Ciate glitter flip. Come on, let me read it. Magnifying glass. Infamous. Infamous. Siate. There we go, now let's flip it. Not doing much. Get my mirror closer. A little bit. A little bit of glitter coming out. So there we go. There's my look. So guys, thank y'all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe. Any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Thanks for watching. There's the puppy. I will see you next time.